Hi, I'm Bob with LPS Computer. Today I'm going to show you how to put in a rear carriage bushing in a TNZ uh, design jet style printer. There are some T's and Z's that don't look like this exactly, and uh, this does not apply to those, mainly the Z6100, Z6200, and some of the larger printers like that. I've printed out the, uh, the steps to uh, put this in from the service manual from uh, HP, and they say to remove the carriage, the uh, front panel, uh, the right end cover, left end cover, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're not going to do it that way. Here at LPS, we think outside the box. So what I'm going to show you is a much easier way to do all of that. Speaking about thinking outside the box, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything. I really don't. But um, I did solve the uh, ancient question of what is the sound of one hand clapping. Got this from a gypsy woman that came to the door the other day for 50 bucks. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money, but you know, real science has a price, like cancer research or searching for the missing dark matter in the universe or uh, trying to find the cause of toe jam. So um, don't judge me too harshly. Okay, well, all you need to do uh, to replace this bushing is to, we do have to take off this cover so we can get the, um, the right end cover off. And um, the bushing actually sits, it, it's visible here, it's not real visible. We're gonna make it more visible in just a minute. But let me show you uh, what exactly we're going to do. This is the uh, a carriage, probably not the exact carriage for this printer, but they're all pretty similar. And this part is identical. This is where the bushing actually goes. And the bushing looks like this. And so it's real easy to put in. There's two different size holes here. You can't get it in backwards, it's impossible. Put one side in and then just push the clip part in. And that's it, it's installed. Not quite that easy while the carriage is still in, but almost. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. We're going to put this bushing into a carriage that's still in the machine. So what I'm going to do here is move the carriage away from the end. The way I'm going to do that, normally when it's here, it's locked into position by the service station that's underneath. So the easiest way to get it unlocked is just turn the machine on. So I've done that using the rear switch. And when the carriage moves away from here, I'm just going to pull the power plug. And the, uh, the carriage will be unlocked and we can pretty much do what we want from there. Okay, it's unlocked. And I'm pulling the power plug. This is an oiler finger here. It looks like a switch actuator, but it is. It's got oil on it. So we're going to take that off. This actually sits right on top of where the bushing goes on the carriage. Its job is to keep that bushing lubricated. It's got one screw, a T15 comes right off. Now this hides one side of the uh, bushing, the clip side, so I'm going to get a hold of that with a pair of pliers here and bend that up. We're not going to hurt anything, we're going to put that back before we're done, but um, that makes things a lot easier. Now I can bring the, the carriage back over and you can see there's where the clip side goes, and that's where the other side of the uh, bushing goes in. So I'm gonna do the clip side first, just stick it in the hole, and I'm gonna flex this a little bit so it goes into the other side. And it's in. That's all there is to it. I'll push this back out of the way, and I'm gonna bend this back. Now, the purpose of this is just to guide the, 
the bushing into the channel underneath. It doesn't have to be any exact angle, just so the carriage isn't bumping into it or anything. You can see we're fine there. And I'm going to put the oiler finger back in. Now this goes into a slot right, oops, into a slot right here. And then you can push it into position so you can see through the hole. And let's put the screw back in. That's it, we're done. And that's how easy that is. We have these bushings in stock as a rule. So you can order them from our website at lpscomputer.com. And um, just about any other part you could possibly need for these printers. So that's about it for today. You all have a good day and we'll see you next time.